Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have a DIY project. In this DIY project, I'm going to make a portable spot welder. So this spot welder will be using a lithium ion battery pack. And this is one of the cheapest spot welding kit that I found online. So I'll be trying to set it up in conjunction with this uh, car jump starter to make a spot welder. You may be thinking why I need spot welder. I have these uh, lithium ion cells. These are 18650 cells and I need to spot weld them for making a battery pack. So I'll be reconstructing my e-bike battery pack with these new cells. So I need a spot welder for that purpose. And I cannot solder the joints here directly to the cells because it will affect the life of these 18650 cells. Let's see what are the things that I got. So this is the DIY spot welding kit that I got from Aliexpress. This is the one of the cheapest uh, spot welder available and this is for 12 volt batteries like car battery or uh, any lead acid batteries. It can also be used with lithium iron packs or lithium iron phosphate 12 volt batteries. So this comes uh, partially assembled. All the SMD components are already soldered here. So I just need to solder the true hole components. For example, the capacitor here and the buzzer here. And you also need uh, to solder the joints for uh, setting up the uh, spot welding. So they have uh, given the spot welder tips here and it is already assembled. And I need to set up the remaining part to connect this uh, kit to the lithium ion pack using these wires. These are 12 gauge wires and I can also use this uh, string tube to cover this up. I also got this together with the spot welding kit. This is a voltage or voltmeter. I need this voltmeter because I need to monitor the voltage of the battery uh, to make sure that it doesn't go too low or too high for this kit. And if the voltage goes too low, it will damage the battery. But uh, if it goes too high, for example, this battery pack can go up to 16.8 volts, but the recommended highest voltage for these kind of kits are 15 volts. But I think it will be okay because the Capacitor that they have provided is 25 volts. So if you get this kit or a similar kit and if you get 16 volt capacitors, then you need to be careful that the battery voltage does not exceed 15 volts. So you can use this voltmeter. And I got this separately. This is the EC5 connector which is needed for connecting the uh, spot welder to the uh, car jump starter battery here. So I'll open up the car jump starter and show you in a minute. All these uh, cost me around $12 including shipping. So I'll test it first and if it works, I leave the link in the video description. And they also gave some free nickel strips. I don't think these are pure nickel strips. So anyways, we can use it for testing. So these are the things that we got. And now let's open the car jump starter and see. This have the user manual and everything. And this is the jump starter. As you can see here and they also give the USB-C charging cable and this is the jump starter cable to connect to your car batteries and jump start it is a quite a, a useful product if you want to jump start your car when your car batteries are dead but as you know you rarely use it to actually jump start your car you can use uh, this as a power bank it has a uh, the USB A output as well as the USB type C input and output and the this supports uh, fast charging so you can you actually use it as a power bank and it has a massive battery of 12,000 milliamp hour and this has a 4S pack that means uh, it has a uh, 4 cells in series lithium iron pack so the battery voltage will be over 16 volts and the button here shows you the percentage of the battery and it also comes with a LED lamp, I think. So you can use it as a torch light when you want to uh, jumpstart your car in the dark and so on. So this is a quite a very good device. And the reason that I uh, plan to use this kind of device is because it has a direct output connection to the cells. So the cells are directly connected to this uh, EC5 connectors and you can actually use this for your purpose like the spot welder and another thing is safety 
the cells here are rated for 1000 amps output so that is quite high and that is for 0.3 seconds and usually you are going to use the spot holder for that much amount of time only so as it is shown here starter current at 600 peak current at 1000 amps so that is uh, quite useful for our purpose you can use uh, other lithium ion packs and so on but those cells are not rated that high and because this is multi-purpose you can use it for other purposes like starting your car or as a power bank and so on so you don't need a dedicated battery for just your spot welder and another good thing will be you can also charge the device during the spot welding process so you can keep on charging and you can still use the spot welder so that is quite good uh, one thing you need to verify is the output of the four s packs like this one will be quite high will be over 16 volts if your uh, kit does not support over 15 volts you need to verify whether the output is over 15 volts or not uh, because uh, the nominal voltage of the cells are 3.7 volts and with 3.7 volt the 4s pack will give you around 14.8 volts if the cells are fully charged then it will be 4.2 volts each that will be 16.8 volts but that will quickly drop to 14.8 volts when you are using the cells so it is not a very big issue you can simply charge a, a cell phone using the usb charger here or you can use the torch lights here to simply drop the voltage uh, to below 15 volts that is just uh, for safety when you don't have a correct capacitor for your spot welder and right. so on so let's try to charge and see what is the maximum charging current of this car jump starter so it's currently charging and it has an indicator that says in that is input and currently the charging current is 5.1 volts 2.3 amps so that is around 12 watts of charging power so that's quite good and you can keep on charging the batteries while using the ports here so that will be quite useful if you need any charging during the spot welding process so i'll just charge it for a while and uh, i'll set this up i'll have to solder these components here and i'll also make the uh, ring terminals for these cables so this is the voltmeter so i'll solder it and uh, i'll get back to you I have now completed the assembly of the spot welder. I have soldered this capacitor here, the buzzer here, and I have also set up the connectors uh, here. And I have put on the hitch ring here, as you can see, over the spot welding tips. And I have set up this female EC5 connector for interface to the uh, starter here. As you can see, these are the uh, access to the battery terminals. So you can actually plug it in now and you can see that the battery voltage currently is 15.7 volts so it should not go below 12 volts at 12 volts we should consider that this battery is uh, fully discharged and we should stop the uh, spot welding process if it goes below 12 volts that is because uh, this uh, battery pack has a 4s lithium ion pack so the minimum should be actually uh, 10 volts but we want to keep it at 12 volts anyhow uh, we won't be using that much of power and this spot roller has a function button here using this function button you can actually select the intensity of the spot welding so when you power on this uh, spot welder the default is the first level that is the lowest level and if you want to increase the level you have to press it for two seconds so now it is at level two there are totally five levels you can see here so this is the third level and that is the fourth level and that is the fifth level so that is the maximum and if you press it again it will turn off i'll test this spot holder using uh, some used batteries here that i have so let's try to uh, spot weld these two batteries using the nickel strips that they have provided i'll cut the nickel strip here so i'll place it on the batteries and let's turn it on so there is the first level so now let's try to spot weld these two cells and one more thing is that these are not rounded tips as you can see these are directly cut with the machine so it's better you file it to make it a pointed tip but uh, for the testing purpose i'll just use it as it is 
and one more thing is that if you don't use it for some time then it is going to turn off by itself so you can turn it on by pressing the function button again okay now let's uh, spot weld the two cells here as you can see i have spot welded with the lowest level for now i'll do two spot welds so i have spot welded with the lowest level and let's check whether we can strip it out even at the lowest level the spot weld seems to be very good and let's try to strip it out so it's hard to strip with the bare hands so i'll use this i think the spot weld uh, is not powerful enough at the first level so we can actually increase the spot weld level here i'll do second level let's try it again and now let's test it with a single cell it is quite uh, hard to remove with the just my hand so i'll just use this again so this time uh, it is a bit stronger and you can see that the strip is actually stuck to the battery and we are actually ripping out the strip so that is how you know that the weld is strong enough and you don't want to overpower the device because it may go through the battery cell uh, casing here and it may puncture the cell so and then it will start leaking and other things will happen so it is always better for you to test with the lowest level and then you can increase the power so now i found that with this nickel strip uh, the second level is the best uh, for welding to these cells let's weld to the other cell as well and test it and i'll do three welds this time okay now it has been welded i'll use the pliers to strip so again we are ripping the strips so we are not ripping the joints and we haven't even uh, decreased the cell voltage here as you can see it was 15.7 right now it's also 15.7 so it's quite good now let's uh, see with this uh, spot welding tips how many welds we can do on the positive side if the spot welder tips are too bulky or too large then we will not be able to fit many spot welds on the positive side so that is important to check spot welding as many as possible to the positive side okay there is one weld there is second weld okay there is a third weld so that seems quite okay and seems quite strong so i think we can do three welds again we are ripping the strips so and you can see the nickel residue here so the welder is working quite good and this is one of the cheapest uh, kits that i found on the internet so this uh, kit itself is around ten dollars and the voltmeter is two dollars and you can uh, easily use this kind of a setup and if you already have a, a car jump starter like mine then you can easily set up like this kind of a portable spot welder device uh, mine is a 4s uh, battery pack you can you might be also having a 3s battery pack or a 4s uh, lithium iron phosphate pack you can also set this up using a lead acid battery a 12 volt lead acid battery that also works uh, why i need this uh, spot welder is because i need to set up a battery i have these cells here these are lg cells these are 3200 milliamp hour lg cells and i have a e-bike and the e-bike battery is dead i have already replaced uh, some of the cells that are not working in this uh, e-bike battery and it has again stopped working so i have decided that i'll be uh, replacing all the 20 cells it is a 10s2p pack so it has 20 cells so i'll be replacing all the uh, cells it came with this uh, samsung 26h uh, cell that is a uh, 5200 uh, milliamp hour at 36 volts i'll be replacing with these cells that will be uh, 6400 milliamp hour at 36 volts so i'll do that in one of my next videos and i'll show it to you so that's it uh, we can easily unplug this from your car starter and you can use uh, this uh, car starter for charging your phone and you can also re restart your car if your car batteries are not working so it is a multi-purpose device and it is quite good and it is not that expensive and one more thing is that you can find uh, portable 
ready-made port portable uh, spot welders but the problem with that is we are not sure what is the quality of cell that is uh, used in these portable uh, cheap uh, spot welders but we are we know that the cells of these uh, car starters will be good because it is from a known brand and uh, it is capable of starting a car that means it obviously it has a lot of uh, current capability so that is uh, quite good and it is quite safe for uh, the sport welding process to use these batteries and make sure you have a voltmeter like this so that you can monitor the voltage all the time if you want to purchase these kits and the car starter i'll leave the link in my video description so that's it for today i hope you like this video and if you have any questions about this setup uh, please uh, leave in the comments section thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time